Hi there, today we are going to go on a couple trips to Goodwill. Let's start with my favorite Goodwill. I gasped out loud and then quickly turned on my phone so I could start filming so you could see this beautiful boxer head planter. I've had boxers in the past. They're one of my favorite breeds of dogs. This is lovely, I love it so much. This I would have picked up if it had the lid, but unfortunately it is missing the lid. And you can tell that a lid goes there. It would look cute with a plant coming out of it, but I think it would look super cute as a teapot. So unfortunately that had to stay. And I wish there were more of these soup mugs with the cute little owl family on it. And then look, I found another one. <laughs> I've been finding a lot of these lately. This one I haven't seen before the design, but it still has the little holes for the uh, wood dowels that you would stack your bagels on the corner. And then I found this Namaji vase. Now these don't sell for very high money, but this was a really big one and I like the price they were selling it for. I like the colors. It does have some surface wear, but I thought it was really pretty nonetheless. And then they had a, just one, uh, book end, but you could always just use it as a display or to stack up at the end of your row of books. I thought it was super cute. It cleaned up really nicely because it was kind of dusty. I thought about getting this one the Scotty dog, but um, I really like the style and the age of the other little terrier. So I decided to take that one. Isn't it so cute? And then I thought this was really, <laughs> I thought this was really cute. And I liked how it didn't have, you know, Cozumel or Bahamas or like a destination carved on it. It's just a really simple, lightweight bird. Now we're going to go on to another Goodwill. Now this can be a hit or miss Goodwill. This is the one on Watertown Road. I thought that this mug was really neat. It has some dent, like a dent in the back of it, a three dimensional mouse on the front. What else could you ask for? So I decided to go get a cart. And here we are quickly <laughs> walking back to the hard goods again. This looked like it had some age on it. So I pulled it out. It was a cute little witch. I thought that was sweet, but I wasn't really feeling it after I saw what it was. So I did stick that back there for somebody else to find more easily and moved on to the cups and saucers area. I did take the time to look up this North Carolina Starbucks mug because I know some of the destination mugs do sell well but if I remember correctly if I'm not telling lies I think it's the one that's like Japan or Europe those sell for really high money then I saw these vintage sailboat glasses they had all of them for $4.99 plus a glass caddy and at first I thought do they just kind of bundle this all together but the glasses fit really nicely on the glass caddy usually a caddy is metal and I've never seen a glass one before they were really dirty they were really gross I'm gonna not <laughs> not tell lies here. I had to scrub them down. As you can see, there were things inside there, vintage things <laughs> that were left over. But uh, they're all in really good shape. One of them does have a small crack, but I don't feel it with my fingernail going through the glass. Of course, I will test it to see if it is water, you know, can stay. <laughs> but uh, overall, I think it's a really nice set. I thought this bottle was really pretty. Isn't that pretty with the butterfly on there? It was from Yankee Candle. I thought that was neat. It's, I liked how it, they, it looked like a little picture on there. These are yogurt containers. <laughs> Fancy yogurt containers. This bunny. That's a different looking bunny with his tail. $7.99. <laughs> now it's $3.99. That's interesting with the wire tail on there. Cute little guy. Here's another item that I took the time to look up. I just took a picture of it and Google lensed it and searched on eBay for sold comps. These do sell well, but the ones that I had in front of me were on the plain side. And so that is why I didn't decide to buy them. Oh, no. Too large mug. 
I thought these were really pretty. I like the colorway on them. I always like blue and yellow together. I always think it's kind of a bright and cheery color. They didn't have any prices that I could see on them, but this Goodwill is really good about going and finding a price for you that is fair. They don't jack prices up. This one tends to bundle things, like the glasses you saw. They didn't mark them individually. So I thought these were pretty, but not enough for me, but I like the idea that someone will come by and display them just like that I thought it looked really nice then I saw this really big bag of dollhouse furniture and in my opinion it looked like it was handmade because I could see the tiny little nails it kind of has a rustic look to it and there's quite a few pieces in there it is for a bigger dollhouse but I like the idea that someone took the time to make them either from a kit or made up the patterns themselves so even though I didn't rip open the bag to see what was in there I thought the quality of them and just the idea that, that these are some handmade dollhouse furniture pieces was a neat idea. Recently we went to a craft store and they had some dioramas where they had just little scenes from a dollhouse, not a complete dollhouse. And I really liked that idea and I thought, well, someone could use that for that kind of art craft if they wanted to. This trivet was very pretty. It was marked on the back. That would look nice in a kitchen, kind of centered piece on the wall. And then I thought about getting this because Valentine's Day is coming up soon. But it just didn't have that vintage kind of kitschy look for me. It was made by Lefton. It was in very good shape. But then I thought this was super cute. <laughs> look at the Sharpe. Oh, it's so cute, isn't it? And it doesn't have a lid. But in my opinion, it doesn't feel like it has a lid. It doesn't have an inner lip to it. See how it's kind of open? It is so cute. And it's a Sharpe. The box says three shaggy camels and it's $20 and it's a hobbyist piece and they are, they're shaggy camels with fur on them. It's really cute. Aw, they are shaggy camels. Looks like Valerie made those. That's adorable. Why is that so heavy? $3.99. really heavy. It's cute. She's missing her ear. A little butter dish. Oh, $14.99. Wow. She's missing her ear. A knitting bag. I think it's more of a sewing bag, but Corny creations. I if that's for making popcorn. <laughs> the black section, it's always boring in here. Bear. Oh, it's a piggy bank. Looks like he's doing yoga. Pretty. A little figurine. Two ninety nine. I think she had some in her hand, probably an umbrella. Oh, and she's been decapitated. Now I can't stop picturing it. He leaves work. He's on his way home. Wham! His kappa is detated from his head. On an end cap towards the back by the toys, they always have kind of a little section that they, they add more hard goods. And I found some really good things here, so I definitely made a point of checking it out. They have these cute little Campbell soup mug cups. And then look at how pretty this vase is with pink hydrangeas. And I thought, you know what? Pink hydrangeas would look really cute coming out of that. Then I moved on back through one last time before I left the store and I found this cute little kitty cat figurine with an attached little mousie and 
I thought it was cute, of course, and it was marked on the bottom that it is from Canada. And I thought it was kind of quirky, kind of like the mouse mug that I picked up earlier. This didn't have a price, but they priced it for me at the checkout. I think it's really sweet. I like how the cat has the mouse on a leash, kind of. And then there's some other things over here. Um, some figurines, a beheaded uh, toy soldier. Like they're candle holders, it looks like it. Some old Vermont maple syrup. I finished the counter cross stitch and I needed a board to uh, mount it on, so I'm gonna get this, I'm gonna cut it down um, and use that. This is another basset hound. Another basset hound art. I'm gonna add this to the little pile. I have two things now for Jocelyn for the Moon Doggy auction. It's signed and it's matted and it's cute. Now we're gonna stop in real quick at Community Aid and I don't really shop here very often and because they also don't allow filming. But recently they have taken down all the signs that no filming is allowed. So I'm assuming filming is allowed. When I first started reselling, Community Aid was my go-to place to go to find things to sell. And then they kind of switched it up. They rearranged the store. Now they have these glass shelves and they kind of put not really higher end things, but they, they take things out of the, just the shelves with all the stuff and they kind of display them in this kind of boutique looking area of the store. And I used to come here all the time when I taught to get school clothes for me to wear because there's some really nice clothing uh, brands and looks and grown up clothes that you have to wear when you're a teacher and you don't like wearing grown up clothes. So I used to come here all the time for clothing, but not so much anymore. When I went to wash this, because I usually rinse off everything, uh, scrub down things if they're really dirty. This one wasn't that dirty, but I still like to wash it off. And when I was washing it off, a, a piece came off. And I thought, oh, maybe it, it was stuck like old vintage, you know, cream cheese or something. And then I went to dry it and another chunk came off. So I always full disclose every flaw that I sell. So uh, what I'm going to show you here is you can't see it until I point it out, but I'm gonna point it out to you. So there is a circle here, and there is a circle here, and I've re-glued them. And so would I use this and put fish on it? Maybe with like a piece of parchment paper underneath it, uh, just because I wouldn't want this sitting and like the oils or something get into this these two little circular cracks or chips. I guess they're more chips, not cracks. Uh, so I thought that was different. I did not notice it. And as I say, you know, in a light box of truth, everything pops out. But overall, I think this is a really, really good shape. Here are all the other items that I picked up while I was out shopping. Thank you so much for supporting my channel and of course Jenny's channel as well. We are being more consistent with her channel. She just dropped a video this morning. So if you have young ones or grandkids who are interested in drawing, please be sure and check out her channel. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you're having a great day and I'll see ya.